In today's video, I am going to show you how you can use a data leak for OSINT. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Hot roll, red roll, engaged. I am inside of a directory that I have appropriately named leaked data. And just to show you that there is in fact data inside of this directory and that I am not making this up, I will run the ls command with a dash capital R and this will recursively list everything inside of this directory and on down in further directories underneath. You can see that we get back quite a bit of information and this gives you a little bit of insight into how this data is structured, the naming convention that was used for additional directories and files. I can also run the tree command and it will let us know that there are a total of 130 directories and 4,680 files inside of this directory. So inside of these 4,680 files lies over a hundred gigabytes of data. Now when we go all the way down to each line inside of each file inside of each one of these directories, the way that this data is organized is simply as follows. On the left hand side we have an email address such as email address at gmail.com and then we have a colon that is separating the email address from the next parameter and in the next parameter we have the password. So this is how it is structured. You have the email address on the left hand side, you have the password on the right hand side, and separating the two is a colon. I'm going to use the grep command and I'm going to run grep with dash r for a recursion and inside of two single quotation marks I am going to do a dot and that dot is basically going to say grep for anything not one specific alphanumeric character but anything and everything essentially and I'm going to pipe the output of that command into the cut command and I'm going to do a dash D for a delimiter and that delimiter that I am going to specify is going to be that that colon because that colon is what separates the email address and the password and I'm also going to do dash F for field and the field that we are going to want to print to the screen is going to be uh, field 3 which is what is going to contain the passwords and just to make it a little bit more visually pleasing to the eye I'm going to pipe the output of that command into another command and that is going to be locat and locat basically uh, colorizes things in a, a in a rainbow uh, color sort of fashion and this typically is not installed on your system if you want to install it simply type sudo apt install lolcat so I will hit enter and what we get back to the screen is an ongoing list of all of the passwords that reside in all of these directories and files now let that run for a few seconds and control C to stop. The tool that I'm going to be using to uh, do a faster and more efficient search is called rip grep. This typically is not installed in your uh, Linux system. You have to uh, install it and to do so you can use apt uh, but before we actually install it uh, you can run the command apt uh, search and we will search for rip grep and we do get back this entry right here 
rip grep and that it is used to recursively search directories for a regex pattern you can also do apt info on rip grep to get some more information on that uh, there is the uh, description right here and it says that it is generally faster than uh, both the silver searcher and gnu grep i already have this installed but if you want to install this it's very simple simply run the command sudo apt install rip uh, grep now as i said i already have that installed so i'm not going to let that command run once you have it installed to actually run the command you are going to use rg for rip grep so if i want to pull up the help menu i would run the command rg dash dash help and i'm assuming that there is a man page for this though i have not read it but let's go ahead and see if i type in man rg we do get a man page for that so you can look at this man page and this will go into a much more thorough explanation of how uh, to use this so for this video we're going to be keeping it pretty simple and I am only going to use a, a few flags. I have this um, uh, credential list that contains over 3 billion credentials inside of it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use rip grep to search for the one particular email address that I found that is in question. So I'm going to do RG. And I'm going to do dash lowercase a, capital F, lowercase i, capital N. Now the lowercase a will search through a binary file as if it were text. The capital F will treat the pattern as a literal string instead of a regular expression. The i will apply case insensitivity to the search and the capital N will suppress any line numbers. The next thing that I will type is going to be the actual email address that I am uh, searching for a password on, and that email address is littlecowboy123 at gmail.com. Now I will go ahead and hit enter. So I will go ahead and do a control C to stop that search since I have found what I am looking for. So here we go. So I started with an email address of interest. Uh, this belonged to somebody I suspected was trolling me. And I was able to use this credential list to discover the password for this email. And it appears that the password is chomo homo bro though. Very interesting. So now the next step is going to be to use this password that we have now discovered and we are going to search through this same credential list but now for the password and our hope in doing this is that we will find an example of somebody making a mistake in which they used the same password for multiple accounts so the more unique your target's password, the better chance that you will have to associate another account with your first email address. Many people recycle the same password across multiple accounts. Let's go ahead and conduct a search for the password. So we will once again do RG dash A capital F I capital N and this time we are going to search for the password, which is chomo homo bro though. And I will hit enter. And now what we get back are two hits. The first hit is the original email address that we started with. But more importantly, the second hit that we get back is another email address that up until now we had no knowledge of. I will go ahead and control C this to stop the search. And what we have is this second email address 
It says davidhabian69 at gmail.com. In this example, what we have done is we have been able to connect one email account that was not very specific, clearly a nickname of some sorts, and we were able to connect that email account to another email account that is very specific. This is somebody's real name, somebody who we can look up on the internet and we can find out who they are. Searching through leaked passwords and recovering associated accounts is one of the most powerful and most often used techniques by investigators, particularly when applied to online investigations. As always, I hope that you got something out of this video. Once again, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and post a comment in the description. And as always, stay fresh. We'll see you in the next video.